How's it going? So I built kind of like this. You see the way like you have these menus. So depending on where you are hovering, the menu box displays different text. So I made a copy of this. It's actually quite very, very easy to do. So you see like um, I didn't decorate it, but I mean just fundamentals and the functionality is the same. So you see like you have menu, right? Menu items. And then this box is fixed or whatever you want to say. It's like there's a box. And then depending on where you hover, I mean, the same shit, you know what I'm saying? I didn't position anything, but like you can do that. It's actually very, very easy to do. All right. So we start with an array. You don't have to, but I personally went with an array, right? This will save you time from trying to manually display them one by one, right? It's just a bit quicker, okay? And we will need a state in here. Actually, let me just super quickly do it, right? You'll just see my logic in it. I'm just going to save the code so we can use it later. I'll, I'll just pause the video. Oh, no, I'm using a... I'm not using VS, so I don't know how to. Is there a way to pause it? Let me see. Yeah, normally the pause button is on my other screen, so I can't find it. Anyway, I'll be like super quick. Okay, so this is the app, GS code. And then that's our CSS. Now, D DR and D DB is kind of my thing I do. This is where I can see elements on the screen. I just create like two classes and then I apply them. So I can see elements real quick, right? Okay, so let's just delete all of this stuff. Ta -ta -ta. Delete this, delete this. Okay, so the first thing we import the CSS, which is standard, like, um, and I'm using um, SCSS. I'm using a compiler, but you don't have to. You can just use CSS. Okay. So the first thing we need, we need the menu items, right? So I personally create an array. So let menu items equals... Now let's say about, let's say contact, now let's say what do we want, other, okay? Let's just do this. Oh, so I want to create deep wrapper, right? End of wrapper. This is just, um, actually, let's make it a nav bar. Yeah, let's just make it a nav bar. Nav bar. Nav uh, bar. I should probably, okay. And then we're going to add a red border to it so we can see it. We are. All right. Dot navbar. Let's give it some padding. 10 pixels so that we can see it. All right. So now we have a navbar. All right. Okay. So next thing we need to do is we need to create a UL element. Give it a class of a class name. Whatever, um, nav ul, right? Now we need to create list items, right? So we're gonna use array to create our list items. So menu items map value index. Again, you can call this shake and bake if you want. Return, whoopsie, that does not look good. Return list we want a key because when you're mapping you always want a key i'll set it to index all right and then display which is going to display value that's it okay so this gives us three elements okay like this so we want to get rid of the list 
So we go to target UL dot UL nav list style none. This will get rid of um, okay. I spelled the uh, nav UL, I think, like this, right? Okay, so we got rid of um, list. So next thing we need to do, we need to display flex. So this will align them horizontally like this. Okay, done. So next we need to target our Lee elements, least elements. And we want to space them a little bit because right now they're like clunked together, you see? They're clunked together, so. One second, let me sneeze. Okay, I'm back. Let's give it margin left 20 pixels. Font size 30 pixels. Let's do this. Make sure let's do 30 in here as well. All right, so that's what they look like right now. So next thing we want to do is we want to create a hover effect. So when we hover on them, we want text decoration. Be underline. And we want cursor to be a pointer. All right, so now we have this effect, right? You see? Okay, so next thing what's left to do is we want to create state, right? We want to create state. And state will be equal to. Now, this logic is a bit difficult. I'll, I'll try to explain it. All right. So, first thing we need to do, we need to create const state. Um, you can call this anything you want. I just use, uh, oh, whoops, set state. To use state like this. Okay, so we want the state to be equal to about or contact or other or nothing, right? So when it's equal to about, we're going to display about component. When it's equal to contact, we'll display contact component and vice versa, right? And we want to do it on two occasions, right? On two occasions. So when we hover over an element, right? This is mouse enter. So on mouse enter, we're going to set the state to about. On mouse leave, we're going to set the state to nothing. So all the components are going to disappear. Oh, there is the, look, there's the pause button. Anyway. Again, we hover over, state becomes contact. We hover over, state becomes other. And when we hover out, state becomes nothing. Right, so let's... Um, the way to do that is we do like this. On, mouse, enter. Enter, okay. Whoopsie. Like this, like this. Set state to value so because we're iterating in the map value is either about contact or other all right and then second condition on mouse leave we are going to set state to nothing and let's test so whoopsie console log state Okay, does it like is does it like everything? Is, is it okay? Okay, good. All right. So now when we hover over about, state becomes about, right? So the state is about. We hover out, it becomes nothing. Hover on contact becomes contact. Hover out. Okay. Do you see how it works, right? Okay, good stuff. So now we just need to create three components. So let's create 
component. Ideally, ideally, you want to create components separately, right? Like in a separate folder called components, and then you just import import them and use them. But I mean, because it's so easy, we're just gonna do them in here. Because you have to understand React is just a bunch of functions, and you can run functions within functions. So components are just functions. This is why you can just run them. Uh, we're gonna call div. Um, class, let's put blue box around them, so db. I'm just basically applying this class here, which is just a blue box to this um, thing. And then let's put h1 element and call this about info. So let's do three of them, change about to. Whoopsie. I'm holding Alt when I'm multi selecting. So this is contact. And this will be other. All right. So now we have three components. About, okay. So now we need to set up a condition in here. So if state equals to about, okay. So if state is equal to this. We want to display. This is a. I think it's called ternary operator, like mini ternary operator. So what this does is, if this is true, it will this it will apply whatever condition is going to be in here. So the condition is going to be display about component. Okay. So now this should work. So now if we hover over about, the about component appears. Oh, whoops. We put it in the um, nav bar. That's why it's appearing in nav bar. We need to get rid of. Yeah, we need to put it in here. Outside of nav bar, then it's going to work correctly. Now we hover over about, about element appears. And when we hover out, because state changes to nothing, it disappears. All right. So finally, we need to add two more conditions, which is or or if state equals to oh, it's not on contact. I think right contact. We want to display contact or state equals to other. I think other and other like this. So now I think we've we've done it and then that's about it. You have to refresh it a couple of times, otherwise it's gonna complain. Okay, it's saying I made a mistake somewhere. Where did I make the mistake? Hmm, interesting. Why is it complaining about it? That's not supposed to complain. Not supposed to complain about stuff like that. Yeah, you see, sometimes you want to refresh it a couple of times. Um, because I have uh I have a program in the background running which is called it's an add-on, which is save on input. So you see every time I type something, um it kind of saves and saves and saves and saves. So this thing sometimes uh, struggles to keep up, so you sometimes have to refresh it a couple of times, all right? So now we click on about, appears, disappears, contact appears, disappears, other appears, disappears, and that's it. And that's pretty much the, like the same thing in here, right? The, in here, of course, you have styling, you have transition, but the fundamental principle is the same. You see, you hover over things and they just appear, right? So we have exactly the same thing. We hover over things and they appear. Okay.
Take care.